इसको नहीं किया था गलत क्या आवाज आ रहा है हेलो हेलो ऑडिबल बाजार वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हाउर यू ऑल एवरी वन फाइन सो हाउ आर यू आर फीलिंग वट इज द फीलिंग टूडे आई थिंक दिस द फर्स्ट और सेकेंड पेपर फॉर योर सी ए फाइनल और ऑलरेडी यू हैव टेकन सम अदर सब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो फर्स्ट पेपर मोस्ट प्रोबेबली एंड एग्जाम इज May ट्वेंटी फोर और नवंबर ट्वेंटी फोर मे ट्वेंटी फोर एवरी वन मे ट्वेंटी फोर वेरी गुड एक्सीलेंट नाउ वी ऑल नो दैट न्यू स्कीम हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस न्यू सिलेबस हैज केम विल बी द फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट मीन्स वी मीन्स इंक्लूडिंग मी ओके विल बी द फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट राइटिंग न्यू स्कीम Now, when a new scheme comes, na, because when I was writing exam for CA final, that time also new scheme came. So when a new scheme came, so with lot of new emotions, it will come. With lot of new emotions means what? Normally, student will have doubt that what is going to happen in the first exam, whether it will change drastically. it will not change or what will be the exam pattern what will be the exam result pattern what is the expectation of ici what will be the expectation of what the students the all confusion means lot of confusions will be there and if that if the proper guidance will not be there then it might happen that in the but the, because what happen normally if you start one year before also exam preparation or one and half year also before exam preparation or six month before also the point is not when you are starting point is that how you are starting how effective you are when you started your exam preparation that is the point means there are many student already who have started their preparation one and half year before But there are many students who will be starting preparation from what this day means only six months are left. Now one doubt will be there that if any student is starting from this day means only when six months are left, whether it is possible to clear the exam both group. This one point. So normally what happens when proper guidance is not there, and of course there is a new scheme. So what what will happen with a lot of confusion? Correct na, you will not get a exact path, exact road, and with that confusion, it might happen you might struggle. But the point is that if six months are left, whether it is possible to clear both group, I will say as per my experience, yes. It is very easy to say yes, huh? It is very easy to say yes. Correct, but. as per my experience if you plan effectively if you plan your studies effectively this six month is more than enough to pass both the group i i don't know whether you are reading group only one group or both group that is not a matter if you are planning for only one group i will not say that change your planning to both group that is not at all an intention 
because if you already plan for one group now if you go to both group now you will not be able to plan it so your mind should be for one group or both group from the day beginning if you have said yes one group to stick to one group only because in between no sir my friends are doing both group let us try as a new that it should not be there are you getting what i am saying so if you have already planned means i am saying already planned already determined that one group be ready for one group only it is i will say if you are passing one one group that is also then also you are ca only and if you are passing passing both group in one attempt or two attempt or multiple attempt then also you are chartered accountant means once you become ca nobody will ask you how you have written exam once you become ca no will no one will ask you how many attempt you have written until unless in interview legally they ask but in interview also they will not ask ki how many attempt you have taken understood so that is not a matter so this course means let us come to our batch let us start about this batch ki this is an exam oriented batch exam oriented batch means what means what do you mean by exam oriented batch so already we have recorded one regular batch so regular batch exam oriented batch understood now normally if i will say when we started teaching when i started teaching i started teaching in the year 2008 first professional teaching before that i was just te teaching what only for the sake of earning thora sa income correct then professionally i started teaching in the year 2008 means 2008 to 2016 i will say there was no concept of exam oriented batch fast track batch there was no such concept i understood now there was only one batch that is regular batch because at that time there was no youtube channel nothing now due to what happened due to youtube channel due to uh, once the when the entire world is open so sometime when we think about ki what is required what is not required so a concept was introduced about exam oriented batch so regular batch means what in that we'll do detailed studies detailed studies correct and of course in that batch we'll cover all the all the questions means we'll not do anything apart from ics study material will not do in that batch will not do anything apart from ics study material so that is also from exam point of view only but if 6 month is left and if you are writing both group with regular batch which consists of 300 hours we find that it is quite difficult to study in class and then re revise also because if you, i will only take 300 hours then you need to also revise two times so it will not be possible for you all so we try to create one batch in such a way that we will be able to complete the entire syllabus entire syllabus i am saying no deletion nothing will be able to complete the entire syllabus once again i am saying entire syllabus nothing deleted no cutting correct all the syllabus whatever i have do in regular batch that will be that will be done in this batch also but that will be done in such a way that it will take 150 or maximum i will say 20 plus hours you can say because right now i can't say because this is a new scheme with introduction introduction of mcqs some more understanding is required so taking that objective in mind that exam oriented means you are sub, you are able to solve all the questions i can't delete any question i can't delete any concepts correct so this will be 150 we are planning but it can be plus 20 hours you can say i mean right now we can't say how many hours it will go but plus 20 you can say so 170 you can say but 150 will try to complete it understood now in this 150 hours sir how you will manage you are saying sir entire concept will be covered so right now you have completed one regular batch in which i have taken 280 plus hours so sir how you will complete 
you are saying entire syllabus and then half of the hour it can be completed what we will do that i will try to increase my speed i will try to increase my speed we normally if i take one x speed for regular batch so here the speed will be 1.5x and normally what happen which i have understood that even though i am teaching in 1x speed in regular batch student will listen in what 2x speed understood now so if you are increasing the speed in recorded classes so better i will only increase so that will not affect your studies only you need to be thoda so more concentrate more your concentration level should be high in the class correct now because my speed will be thoda sa more as compared to regular batch correct second point where we can save our thoda sa time which i can understand because you are a ca file student so you also understand the importance of this exam so what i can do that all the questions will be covered whatever i do in regular batch i will try to cover all the cons all the questions but there are some question which require only discussion i know and you will be also able to understand that when we are when i am discussing that question you will understand that writing is not required solving is not required so what i will do that type of question which i feel that can be understood only with discussion that will be only discussed and will not be solved by me in the class of course entire solution will be given to you entire solution will be given to you so in that way i can save thoda sa time understood so what will happen what is the benefit of this that let us understand benefit of exam oriented batch if you lot be able to understand benefit then what will happen that you will not be able to plan your studies effectively so if i take 300 hours so what will happen 300 hours you are taking then again you need to give 300 hours for what first time revision correct na and then two revision is must i will say must for getting good marks in ca final exam two revision is must now 300 hours i have taken then again you are also taking some hours for to revise so this much number of hours you don't have so if i am able to complete in 150 hours and then again you are taking 200 hours for first revision can i say it will help you to save 150 hours which you can allocate which you can allocate to other subject in that way if you are planning for both group or group one i don't know i don't want to go into that you can effectively write the exam in may 2024 so that is the mere intention intention is to save your time for preparation and then allocated time in revision because what i feel this classroom is not important for passing the exam self study is more important for passing the exam classroom is required but that is not the only point with which you will pass in exam self study is more important so if you have done the classes but you have not revised it gone but if you have not done the class properly but if you are revising two time now that may help you that may help you means if you take my example i have never taken any coaching for ca final then also i become ca na so that self preparation is more important self study is more important so we need to focus on that i am not saying that from tomorrow you don't come in the classroom correct now because of course that is required what to study what not to study that is also more important but once you have understood that ki what to study what not to study then apply the balance time for self study so planning is required for that self study so i am planning the classroom hours you plan your revision if you can plan your revision effectively then whatever you have decided either one group or both group that can be effectively achieved understood so i think the difference you have understood you can see the major difference is only in the speed and questions solving so if suppose there are 10 questions i do in regular batch for one chapter for one chapter if suppose i am doing 10 question in regular batch so what i will do five question i will do by solving and five question i will discuss understood for which solution will be given in that way we can save our time you can see the i have not designed any separate book for this exam oriented batch means whatever books i provide 
for regular batch that book only i will provide for what exam oriented batch means if i am not teaching any concept you can catch me na understood so same book will be given so suppose if i am not teaching any concept so you can catch me sir why you have not done this concept understood what i am saying yes sir so all the concept will be covered so there is no such difference from concept point of view you can see all the concept will be covered in regular batch that will be covered in our exam oriented batch understood correct ha but ha one thing that if you are writing for what after one year one and half year then i say don't go for exam oriented batch then go for what regular batch because there is also some advantage of regular batch ha if you are writing after 6 month then exam oriented batch will be helpful for you understood yes sir now this batch will be totally in english english medium okay my mother tongue is hindi to in between it might happen i may use some sort of hindi that is default by default it will come understood na correct so some hindi words might come that will not be used for explanation purpose explanation will be done entirely in english today is the first day of the class okay sir now coming to the timing timing will be same timing 6:30 to 9:30 every day 6:30 9:30 three hours batch in between i may give you 10 minute break okay understood to 6:30 to 9:30 break will be decided by me not by you correct then duration already i have said it will be 150 to 160 it is mentioned but it might happen it may go to 170 also so to add that please don't complain about that understood don't complain days already i have mentioned 50 days but excluding holiday most probably i will not take classes on sunday most probably most probably but ha some sunday i may take understood so some sunday if i am taking i will inform you on prior basis the timing of sunday will be decided by me not by you timing of sunday will be decided by me not by you i am saying on the first day so you can't say sir i can't come on that time then you listen what backup classes understood na so don't worry i am a student friend the student i ask you then only i decide correct but sunday timing is based on me chalega yes sir but most probably i don't take class on sunday i also require one day rest everyone every human being require one day rest and i am married also you can understand this required okay now this batch is applicable already said may 24 and november 24 may 24 november 24 and onward batch also because in fr amendment will not be so much in fr what books you receive so you receive two volumes of india sarans book what is the india sarans book india sarans book has been compiled by me and it will contain it will contain all the content of india understood so all the content without any questions in that no questions will be there only the content so this will help you in revision time means i have designed that india sarans book in such a way that it can be completely revised before exam normally what student think one more point i just want to say in the first day only that normally student think that practicing question you will pass the exam no see it is a ca final exam okay so in ca final exam if you are practicing only questions without understanding concept or content you will not be able to write in exam so that content is also very important content is also very important for example you have an accounting standard in ca inter anyone who have not an accounting standard in ca inter understood so for example there is a question of as 9 or as 5 can you write without knowing the content of as means you have understood the question you have understood the solution also but you can't write if you if you don't know the content of accounting standard that in the sarans book will be very important the so practicing question is one point but also revising the content is also more important therefore i have compiled in such a way that you can revise the entire in day before exam understood then i will be giving you four volumes of question bank four volumes so four volume one volume will be up 350 pages approximately so 350 into 4 how much how much 
1400 pages will be what your question bank and 500 pages will be what your India's Aran book so this much we'll do in class now question bank means what all the questions will be there all the questions of ICS study material all the question of past examination all the questions of past examination so this is the first exam no the previous old scheme was also based on India's the so question remains same so with old scheme to new scheme there is no major changes in FR I don't know about other subjects but in FR is not major changes because India's will remain India's question of that India's will remain same only so all the past examination question will be there all past RTP RTP means revision test paper MTP means model test paper will be there understood so till that whatever RTP MTP past examination all are included in that understood so, correct means after this batch any exam conducted by ICI RTP MTP that will not be included in that so for that I will give you some additional PDF for, for example if you are writing not in May 24 you are writing in November 24 so from May 24 another RTP will come so that I will provide you even though you are a CA finance student, you can also download from website but I will provide you chapter wise understood so that will be my obligation to provide you that is my obligation to provide you then we will provide you MCQ now MCQ is multiple choice question we all know that now every subject will have 30 percent multiple choice question 30 percent is 30 marks we are expecting now it will be of one mark or two marks that is not yet confirmed means one question will be of one mark if one question will be of two marks that is not yet confirmed so if it is two marks 15 question will come if it is one mark then 30 question will come understood now so there will be multiple choice question without any negative marking thank you very much no negative marking means we can attempt all questions we can attempt all questions now understood i think in ca foundation you have done ca foundation the ca foundation there were two subjects in which there were mcqs but there was negative marking there was negative marking so in this it is free we can attempt all now mcq question is under preparation because i am drafting is every day what i do i used to draft five questions by my own so till now and till now icia has not released any pdf etc of mcq question they have provided in the student i think login id some mcqs correct now they have provided to you but they have not given in pdf format got it so that too you can solve from the ici login id by using ici login adding whatever you have now so they have provided some case study based question there, there also so i am just trying to create some new question by my own so 200 questions already created by me some more questions i'll be creating so i'll be just updating that pdf every month understood now that pdf will be given in the google drive link you can download and you can start you can save in your mobile and you can whenever you feel you can start solving it and i am not giving chapter wise what happen if i will give you chapter wise what will happen you revise that chapter then all mcqs become easy so i am not giving you chapter wise so once the entire syllabus completed you can solve it understand what i am saying so can you say mcq solving is not my job if I will solve MCQ, then what you will do? You will only write exam. No. You need to solve some questions by your own. Now. That MCQs, you need to solve by your own. I have not given chapter wise intentionally. Why intentionally? Because if suppose chapter wise given, now that MCQs become easy to understand. So you do entire syllabus. After that, start solving MCQs by one. So I will just give a hint of that solution. So whatever tough questions are there, I will provide a hint for that so that it will not waste your time suppose you are not able to understand how it is solved so one hint will be provided for that got this point understood so mcqs i am not going to give any hard copy mcqs i will be giving what pdf why i am not giving hard copy because it is under updation unnecessary i will give you then once again i will need to update it correct got it and can i say mcqs can be done through what soft copy only correct and we need to save paper also Save please save paper. Got it? Yes, sir. Now about backup classes of this batch. 
so if you are a live student or face to face student then 50% hours will be provided as backup 50% hours so if suppose the batch is one 50 hours or 75 hours will be provided as backup that you can use if you are missing the classes understood if you miss the classes then what you can use it normally what happens this backup classes is actually a disadvantage for the student why disadvantage because you have a backup and once you start listening backup classes you will not come to the class that is the that is my observation from the last i will say two years See now the ca final student have become lazy morning morning full come morning 6 30 teacher can come teacher is earning from that why we will come understood now abhi dekho it's happened See, the strength will decrease to 20 percent after 50 percent of class i have always observed that strength decreases not because you are listening the classes you are not listening the classes in your home also. i know i know but when you have some backup classes now you have array we have the classes we can listen and can you see if you say me i can convert that backup classes into google drive class classes also because i want you to complete the class now yes or no so if you start listening backup classes you'll call me one day sir please convert in my to google drive sir i am okay with that but i know it will take them 12 months to complete that normally it is my observation that out of 100 students only 20 percent students are able to complete the recorded classes in time 80 percent will ask for extension and i give 12 month validity means they are not able to complete the entire syllabus in 12 months so i will say this backup you forget it is given for some emergency for example you got fever you are not able to come then use it otherwise forget about this because once you are coming in the club that only will help you because you join for this now because you, why you want face to face class because you know that you can't listen recorded classes yes or no those who have joined live classes they also require some discipline so those who want discipline they have joined this those who do not want discipline they have already taken my recorded classes the, who, the student who don't want discipline they want to listen as per their time convenience they will offer what google drive classes na? so you have opted these classes because you want some discipline am i right or not so stick to this stick to this correct for google drive student because i need to say to them also that one point view one point five view will provided with 12 month validity 12 month validity for backup class also i am giving 12 month validity correct so 12 month around say after may one more item will come correct now see your choice what is your mind saying what is your mind saying i will say take three month validity try to complete in three months because this course is what of three months only means this exam oriented to two months may complete so that that should be the target that you should complete this frn 150 hours only not more than that okay now coming to the next point So we discuss about the backup classes doubt clarification this is the most important doubt clarification for you so i am available with you i think doubt clarification is not required for you i am available before class after class in class correct now you can call me also i will be available at any point of time but those who are taking live classes and those who are taking google drive classes a dedicated telegram group will be given to you you can ask doubt there a uh, whatsapp group will be also created for the personal connection with me so i think you have also joined one whatsapp group so that will be for personal connection no, normally i don't clear doubt in whatsapp group correct now because in my mobile there will be lot of messages 
so i can't read all the messages all time so one dedicated telegram group is given so once again i am saying if you want to ask subject related doubt ask in telegram group that i always see and i answer within one hour i just make sure that within one hour i answer it correct sometime if i am very busy schedule so it will take one day to complete theek hai na so because i have lot of classes then it is not possible but if you are asking any doubt in whatsapp i will not see also so don't ask any doubt in whatsapp but one whatsapp group will be created only for personal connection suppose your birthday is there so you just can inform me i will wish you my birthday you know you can wish me happy diwali happy eid whatever you want we can do that personal relationship we can create there okay correct if you have some if you have some uh, point to discuss with me personally you can ask me time there sir you can also call me also there nothing to worry understood na so in that i will just give one time you can call me that is for personal connection but doubt in telegram group ha if suppose i am not able to explain the doubt with message i will only inform you that at this point of time you call me and you can call me and we can discuss that doubt over call also correct but most of the time you will be able to understand the doubt with message only if you have some technical issue to so one technical whatsapp group will be provided ask the technical doubt there only don't call anyone don't message anyone personally because the entire technical team is there only so one technical doubt group will be provided in your email by way of email you receive soon so ask all the technical doubt there only about your books if suppose it has not been received to books so there is one courier doubt whatsapp group ask your tracking id there only don't call don't waste your time you will be wasting your time in calling correct so you can ask all the courier related doubt in that this i am just informing you because you should know all these points correct in any case you just write down this two number this is not my number ha huh? we my team number so any point any discussion you want to do correct na if suppose i am not replying your message just complain about me in this number okay you can complain for example after class you will be also requiring my help na are bolna re you require you don't require so i'll give you my number but not abhi because abhi here i'll give you my number personal number i'll give you don't worry but this number is for my team suppose i am not responding or you are not getting the immediate reply you can complain about me also in this number okay this sir is not replying ask sir to reply so i will only call you okay got this point correct so with this i have just discussed about the about the batch now coming to the syllabus if i say syllabus if i say syllabus so syllabus is entire india do you know about india what is the full form of indias do you know what the full form of e as means what accounting standard in means what indian so indian accounting standard so it is entirely indias so we call it pyar se what indias but it is indian accounting standard what you have done in ca inter accounting standard So my question to you all: Whether that accounting standard was related to Indian context or it was not related to Indian context? Means whatever accounting standard you have done in CA Inter, that is related to India or that is not related to India? India only. So this is what. This is also Indian accounting standard. That was also Indian accounting standard only, no? But in CA Inter, whatever you have done, that was known as what accounting standard. This is known as what? Indian accounting standard but both are related to what India so what is the difference means what is applicable to the company whatever you have done in ca inter whatever you will do in ca final both are different or same if name is different of course they are different if we call accounting standard whatever you have done in ca inter and whatever we will do in right now that is known as indian accounting same name is different so of course they are different only the point is that what is the difference acha what is applicable to indian companies what is applicable to indian companies accounting standard so what is ind accounting standard you are saying account when you are saying accounting standard means you are in ca inter ha huh? 
when she enters. वन मिनट now so what i was discussing that what is the actual difference between as and indias so now what actually happened i don't know whether it has been it has been taught to you in ca int or not you are ca int you are not so much mature to understand all these things even though it is a part of ca int syllabus correct now but we as a faculty we teach we know what you can understand that only we teach and that was not required for ca inter examination but now what actually happened there are two type of companies there are two type of companies understood whatever i am writing in good handwriting that you should write down understood so whatever i am writing so my good handwriting this only correct so whatever i am writing in good handwriting that you write down one more thing this all class notes pdf will be also provided day wise in the google drive link you can download okay so there are two type of companies now first companies to which in days is applicable company to which indias is applicable got this point and companies to which indias is not applicable company to which indias is not applicable so for the purpose of application of accounting standard entire companies has been divided in two parts so we need to first find out which are the company to which indias is applicable so any balance company will be the company to which as will be applicable now whenever i say as as means ca inter accounting standard that is means to these companies indias notified under companies indian accounting standard to 
2015 Indian Accounting Standard Rules 2015 will be applicable and to this company accounting standard as as means accounting standard okay notified under company accounting standard rules 2006 applies 2006 applies understood means whatever you have done in ca inter that is not withdrawn with introduction of indias that is also applicable to some company to which indias is not applicable means whenever you are in with some client for the preparation of financial statement first you need to find out whether indias is applicable or as is applicable if as is applicable go to ca inter if indias is applicable come to ca final understood this point have you understood now one doubt will come with this so what about non companies what about non companies means any partnership firm any proprietorship whether to them accounting standard is applicable what do you think what do you think whether to them as is applicable yes no are you able to understand what i am asking correct you need to respond na when i am asking something you need to respond acha you have done article c or you have not done article c you have completed so if means you have some practical knowledge you have some practical knowledge na so with that practical knowledge say something okay so what i am asking ki what about partnership firm and what about proprietorship means those who are non companies non corporate body to them accounting standard applicable not applicable applicable not applicable which as will be applicable which as this first part second part na like it is as per company rules think about this what i am saying are before answering you are ca final student think twice because whatever answer you are giving it will represent that you are ca final student it is written as notified under what companies accounting standard rules 2006 how can you say second part is applicable whether to partnership firm or proprietorship companies act will be applicable so how can you say second part you can't say second part na now say whether as is applicable or not applicable as is applicable not applicable no it's applicable it's applicable so to them as is applicable but which as accounting standard issued by aci oh my god what is this accounting standard issued by aci who is aci our godfather our godfather na correct so issued by our godfather so whether these accounting standards are not issued by aci no it is not issued by aci it is notified by mca means central government in consolidation with ici only but we can't say it is issued by what ici means if you say ki what are indias to so indias are notified by mca in companies indian accounting standard rules 2006 2015 what is as this as this is as notified by mca in companies accounting standard rules rules 2006 for us only a small brief knowledge however this batch is not for that much extensive study correct now this whatever i am saying it might not be important from exam point of view but as a ca student as a ca you should know all these things because once you become ca then you should be aware of this fact correct you should be aware of this fact theek hai na just try to understand what happened this is 2006 before and after 2006 before and after understood i pass in the year 2005 i pass means i become ca in 2005 understood correct 
it means for me to this was not applicable only neither this nor this because one is 2006 one is 2015 so i have not studied this so what i have studied i have studied only as issued by what icai means before 2006 there was only as issued by icai correct understood and which was not a part of companies rules or companies act means can i say this as was actually not mandatory for companies also because this is as issued by whom icai so whether company are bound to follow this no who is icai are you able to understand what i am saying so that time this was not so mandatory but what happened before 2006 there was companies act 1956 companies act 1956 that was now become companies act 2013 so companies act 1956 used to say ki every balance sheet and sops should comply with the requirement of accounting standard which is formed under the guidance of central government with the help of nakas nakas means National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standards, which now become NAFRA. NAFRA, you know? You know NAFRA? So NACAS now become NAFRA. So that time it was NACAS. So I am using NACAS. Now it become NAFRA. Are you getting what I am saying? So it means who will, as per Company Act, who has the power to form accounting standard? NACAS under the under the guidance of what central government means this as was actually not mandatory for whom companies also but what happened ki companies act has given one circular whatever ki till nakas issue any accounting standard as issued by icai will be followed and therefore for companies indirectly it was mandatory and so what happened but for partnership firm for proprietorship whether this as was applicable it was applicable so what icai has done i am not giving you the entire story actually i need to start from 1977 but i am not going to that level 1977 was the year when asb accounting standard board was formed accounting standard board you know so actually i should start from 1977 but i am not going itna aage so what happened He ICI has issued one circular to their member. Who are the member of ICI? Chartered accountant. We are the member. You will become. I am already the member of ICI. So issued one circular to all the member that if you are complying any attested any attested funds and means if you are signing any financial statement, that financial st statement should comply with the requirement of accounting standard issued by what ICI. Means any partnership from financial statement. any proprietorship financial statement or any company's financial statement if it is signed by whom chartered accountant that need to comply all the requirement of as issued by icai so indirectly can it become mandatory for all understood now what happened in this year 2006 something happened i am not going to what happened something happened and in that year Companies Accounting Standard Rules 2006 was formed. So what MC has done? MC has just copied paste all the accounting standard issued by ICI and incorporated in this rule. Only one changes was made in AS 11. That changes I will teach you in CA final only. AS 11 you have done? The effect of foreign exchange rate. So what changes was done? That also I will inform you, but not today. so it means can i say as which was notifying companies accounting standard rule 2006 is same to same as issued by ici am i right or not but now it become a part of companies accounting standard rules it means it become mandatory for all companies so now can i say in this way ki now actually there are three set of accounting standard in india three set of accounting standard in india means if somebody ask you how many set of accounting standard in india there are three set One is accounting standard issued by ICI, which is applicable to non-corporate body, and that is also not mandatory. If you are signing the balance sheet, that CA need to comply all the requirement of accounting standard. 
understood so that is not mandatory but indirectly it is applicable to partnership and proprietorship correct now so normally if you are signing any balance it makes you it is as per the requirement of accounting standard for company there is mandatory only so for company there are two set of accounting standard one is as notified in company's accounting standard rule 2006 one is indias notified under company's indian accounting standard rule 2015 understood i think brief idea came brief idea came now sir what is the difference between these two i think one thing you have understood as issued by ici and as notified in these companies rules no difference that one difference also now eliminated so it is exactly same means whatever c whatever as you have done in ca inter actually that is applicable to this companies and partnership and proprietorship also am i right or not understood this point so what is the difference between as and indias now in the year 2015 what happened means before that only it was in discussion he india understood that now we need to comply the requirement of financial reporting with international accounting standard so you know about ifrs 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 means what international financial reporting standard international financial reporting standard now in ifrs also there are two part before 2001 i will say it was known as ias ias means what international accounting standard so when i say ias it is international and therefore in india we don't call it ias if i will call it ias then confusion will be there therefore the name has been given indias indias is indias indian as but ias means what international accounting standard So if I am calling IAS, so that is not IAS. It is International Accounting Standard. And after that, the name was changed to IFRS. After that, the name was changed to IFRS. Means before 2000, 2000 or 2001, already IAS Committee, International Accounting Standard Committee, IAS Committee means International Accounting Standard Committee, has already issued IAS one. to ias 41 how many international accounting standard 41 so when ifrs committee was formed so they have decided not to change the number and the title of this international accounting standard so they have retained this ias terminology ias 1 ias 41 and they have decided that any new accounting standard issued by ifrs will be known as ifrs means after that they have issued ifrs 1 to ifrs 16 and this is what i am saying what actually happened so can i say even though now there is no is committee but then also we use the term is1 is2 is3 and is41 and whatever new accounting standard was issued after 2001 under ifrs committee that is has been given the number what ifrs1 to ifrs16 means both exist both exist understood what happened now this indias this indias are the converged form of ifrs so when i say ifrs in it means including what ias so i will not say repeatedly ifrs and ias when i say ifrs ifrs include what ias if someone is saying ifrs it include what ias also because now there is no international accounting standard committee so we don't call it ias IFRS include IAS one to IAS forty one. Are you able to understand? So these indias are indias are converged form of IFRS. 
understood so what do you mean by converged means we india have not adopted entirely international accounting standard because we are indian we always want modification so we say we will not entirely adopt ifrs so we have adopted it with some modification as per the economic condition of india understood it means can i say ki there are some differences between ifrs and indias it is not exactly the same but the difference is only 5 less than 5% less than 5% and that difference also will do in our class means can i say if i am teaching you indias you also understood ifrs so one thing more thing i just want to say ki after doing classes from me there is no need to do any coaching for ifrs you can teach ifrs ha huh? don't give don't take coaching start giving coaching ha huh? understand what i am saying there is no need to take classes for ifrs suppose you are doing some ifrs diploma course so you can do without taking any coaching because there is no difference only only 5% that also i will teach got is fine so indias is converse form of ifrs now when we have when india was converging ifrs to indias then one doubt came ki what will be the number because can you see here also one here also one so we will say indias one so which indias whether we are talking about is one ki ifrs one the doubt came there was numbering was done in this way this is was numbered like this indias 1 to indias 41 understood is fine so whenever i say indias 1 it is ifrs 1 or is 1 is 1 not ifrs understood is fine and this ifrs was numbered as ifrs 1 in days 101 in days 101 to what in days 116 it means when i am saying in days 116 don't be scared there is no 116 accounting standard in our syllabus are you able to understand what i am saying So when I say Indias one zero one or one zero two, it means IFRS one, IFRS two. Correct. Out of these, also there are many standard which has been already deleted by IFRS committee. Means when I am saying IS one, it exists, but there is no IS four. IS four is already deleted. Means there is no Indias four. Are you getting what I am saying? If I say IS twenty nine has been deleted, it means there is no IS twenty nine. Are you able to understand? Yes, sir. So, what I want to say effectively, there are thirty five, I think, Indian accounting standard. Thirty five. That we need to study. That we need to study means you can count from here what is in our syllabus. Chap, you can see this much. 31 31 means what there are some indian indian accounting standard which is not in our syllabus so out of that also three are not in our syllabus 31 we need to study 31 maybe this is one chap these two chapters are what not related to india so 31 minus 2 how much 29 29 i have combined some indias yahan par so effectively it is study man lo 35 effectively will not count it effectively this is our part of syllabus so as per syllabus is concerned as per syllabus is concerned correct 95% of syllabus is related to india then there are two chapter which is newly introduced in new scheme which are theory chapter which is totally new for the new scheme and then one chapter will be related to schedule 
रिक्वायरमेंट शेड्यूल थ्री रिक्वायरमेंट अंडरस्टूड तो दिस इज द एंटायर सिलेबस दिस इज द एंटायर सिलेबस मीन्स के नहीं सी वी आर ओनली लर्निंग वॉट इंडियन अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड We need to only learn Indian accounting standard. I will say ninety-five percent. That is only. Correct. Now, when I am saying Schedule Three, you know Schedule Three. Have you done the format of financial statement as per Schedule Three in C and F? You have done the format. You have done the format. So, said you know Schedule Three has how many divisions? You don't know because I know you don't know. The so Schedule Three has How many division? Two division. There are two part. Division I am asking. So there are three division. Division one, division two, division three. Division one is applicable to those companies which are following accounting standard. I mean this was a part of CA inter syllabus. So in CA inter you have done division one of schedule three. You have done division one of Schedule three means that is not applicable to company which are following India. Got this point? Second, division two is applicable to those companies to which India is applicable. To which India is applicable means this is in our syllabus. So it means in CA final will. Study Division Two of Schedule Three of Companies Act. Division Two of Schedule Three of Companies Act. So, what is Division Three? So, Division Three is applicable to NBFC. What is NBFC? Oh, yes, very good. Okay, in the old scheme of CA Inter, I think there was NBFC also, na? You have done NBFC? That now that chapter has been deleted. In new scheme of CA Inter. In new scheme of C and T, so NBFC that adopt India's, that adopt India's, for them division two is not applicable, for them division three is applicable. So any NBFC which adopt India's, for them division two is not applicable, division three is applicable. And because NBFC is not in our syllabus, this is also not in our syllabus. NBFC is not in our syllabus. So I will not teach you division three. Why to teach? Correct. Understood. So only this is in our syllabus. So when I say Schedule Three, in your mind, what should come? Division Two of Schedule Three of Companies Act, 2013. Understood. So Division One and Division Three is not a part of our syllabus. So of course we'll do that chapter somewhere. Got this point? Yes, sir. Miss Kenny, sir, with this entire discussion, I hope you have understood what is India. Now, with this discussion, one doubt, of course, has came: just which to which company India is applicable? To which company India is applicable? Because once you understood to which company India is applicable for balance, AS will be applicable. So now that discussion is required. Let us come to one chapter. Let us start one chapter. Chapter number two. So we will start with chapter number two. Okay. Chapter number two. You can see in there's introduction. Today's my my target is to complete this. In there's introduction. What are Indian accounting standard? Now you have understood what are Indian accounting standard. Indian accounting standard means what you will do in CA final. So if somebody asks you what is Indian accounting standard, what will be answer? So what the syllabus of CA final is in there. Well, this is the answer. No, this is not the answer. So what is Indian accounting standard? Indian accounting standard are international financial reporting standard. Yes or no? When I say IFRS, IFRS include what? IAS. That is understood point. That is understood point. Correct. So don't be confused that Indian accounting standard is not international accounting standard. Chalega. Converge. What is the key term? Converge. It is converted. We have not adopted entirely IFRS. Converge standard issued by whom? Central Government of India through what? Ministry of Corporate Affairs (MCA). 
अंडर द सुपरविजन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ ए एस बी ए एस बी ऑफ आई सी आई आई सी आई वन कंसल्टिंग बॉडी यू कैन से इशूड बाई आई सी आई यू कैन से इशूड बाई आई सी आई अंडर द सुपरविजन एंड कंट्रोल इट इज नॉट इशूड बाई आई सी आई बी केयरफुल इट इज नॉट इशूड बाई आई सी आई अंडर द सुपरविजन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ ए एस बी ऑफ आई सी आई एंड इन कॉन्सोलेशन विथ नेशनल एडवाइजरी कमिटी ऑन अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड विच नाउ बिकम वाट नफरा नफरा मीन्स नेशनल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग ऑथोरिटी दिस इज इंडिया आई थिंक यू अंडर सुड इंडिया सर आई एफ आर एस इशूड बाई सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टू एम सी ए अंडर द सुपरविजन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ ए एस बी ऑफ आई सी आई विथ कॉन्सुलेशन ऑफ नफरा दैट बिकम इंडिया तो इंडिया आर नेम्ड एंड नंबर्ड इन द सेम वे एज द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग स्टैंडर्ड फॉर ईज ऑफ रेफरेंस मीन दे हैव नॉट चेंज द नंबर ऑल्सो तो आई एस वन इज नॉन नोन एज वाट इंडिया एस वन एंड आई एफ आर एस वन इज नोन एज वाट इंडिया एस वन जीरो वन तो वी कैन को रिलेट वी कैन को रिलेट वी फाइम सिंग इंडिया एस वन वन सिक्स वन 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 सिक्स इन यू माइंड वर्ड विलकम आई एफ आर एस सिक्सटीन चलेगा Now, what are carve out and carve in of India? Means already I have said there is some difference. So the basically there are three types of difference. There are three types of difference between India and IFRS. IFRS will include IES. There are three types of difference. One is known as various terminology related changes. Means what happened? There are some terminology which was used in IFRS. But which has been changed where in India? Whether it will make any difference? If I will change your name and I will start calling with your nickname, where your identity you will change? Your so identification will not change. Now you will remain the same person only. Correct? Now you remain same person. So changing the terminology will not make any difference. But the terminology used and the IFRS and India might be different. For example, there are two basic changes. One is he internationally, internationally, the financial statement consists of statement of financial position. Means the balance sheet is known as what? The statement of financial position, correct? And statement of PL is known as you know this point statement of comprehensive income correct now when we were drafting in days then one doubt will come if this terminology will be used suppose we copy paste this terminology then it means amendment is required where in companies act the company act says financial statement consists of balance sheet and statement of profit and loss it means amendment is required where in company act and in india amendment will not easy it will take around 15 20 years in india you know because once amendment we start then government will change yes or no government change then again they will restart from the beginning it is not possible where it is not very easy in india so they understood this fact if they will retain this term it means amendment required where in companies act and it will take some time so first let us amend what companies act and then change yahan par so they have retained which terminology so in india as we use balance sheet only so it means terminology change So India has not given the term statement of financial position. They have given which term balance sheet. And statement of comprehensive income is known as what? Statement of profit and loss. Now no amendment required. No amendment required. You know, company is nineteen fifty six and two thousand thirteen. How many year difference? In this, there were nineteen fifty six. The nineteen fifty six means which year? Nineteen means that time nineteen forty six forty seven. We got independent. Correct, 1956. It took uh, more than 50 years to amend what that obsolete Bakwas Companies Act because we have done that act. There was nothing. 
there was nothing na you know this companies act 19 companies act 2013 was initially drafted in which year it was initially drafted in 1987 india it will take time it will take time so mc was knowing this fact therefore they have retained this terminology so can you say but this terminology changes will make no difference in india's and ifrs understood so in india what we will call it statement of financial position will be known as balance sheet and statement of comprehensive income will be known as statement of profit and loss so sometime what happened ici will take question from international book because can i say they need to create a new question na so they will take question from international book and they forget to modify the question so it is quite possible that in the question it is given that prepare statement of financial position and statement of comprehensive income don't be afraid don't be scared correct na it means they want you to prepare what balance sheet and sopl understood it means that is a question which is taken from what international book correct understood but will prepare what balance sheet and statement of profit and loss only correct got this point so this difference you understood various terminology related changes second difference was removal of option now ifrs is very much flexible they have given many options option means they have given either do this or do this correct so they have given option for example one option you know from as10 only as10 is what property plant and equipment ppe so in as10 one option has been given that entity can either follow cost model or revaluation model that is an option given na so option given for the ease of accounting if you are not able to follow revaluation model follow what cost model that is easy if you want to follow revaluation model you can follow that is for ease of accounting so flexibility is there flexibility to ifr is very much flexible correct but when we were converting ifrs to india some of the option has been removed some of the option has been removed for for example just try to understand is international accounting standard 40 this is investment property invest i'm just giving one example so is 40 has given one option that either you follow cost model or fair value model fair value model this was the option given for investment property we'll discuss everything in detail don't worry but when we were converting is 40 to indias what 40 so option was removed now only what cost model my question to you all in this also their cost model was available na so whether it will make any difference it will not make any difference means we have not changed the accounting treatment we are just giving only one option and can is one option will be better for comparison purpose also here to many entity can follow cost model some entity will follow fair value model how to compare so to for the valid comparison of financial statement they have removed some option in indian accounting standard but that does not mean that will create any difference between ifrs and india so there is a difference but it will not create any difference in financial statement correct so this is removal of option so some of the option has been retained some of the option has been removed understood this point got this point yes sir the third difference which is which will actually create a difference is carve out and carve in this is important from examination point to be that i that may be important because carve out and carve in are given in your ic study material understood means when we read the structure of syllabus then nowhere it is mentioned that this is a part of syllabus but when we read the study material they have given carve out and carve in so it means it is a part of syllabus it means we need to teach carve out and carve in so what is carve out ki whenever any accounting treatment has been modified from ifrs to indias and that modification has been done as per the economic condition prevailing in india that is known as carve out that is known as carve out so it will have an impact because there is some modification in the accounting treatment given by ifrs and indias 
so we'll understand carve out in in respective integers i mean right now whatever i will say you will not be able to understand that difference but have you understood carve out so i will use this terminology during the class it is a carve out means there is a some difference in accounting treatment given in ifrs and indias there is some changes made carve in means what whenever there is whenever ifr is silent regarding some accounting treatment means ifrs has not given any accounting treatment for that particular transaction event but that has been included where in dias means ifrs was totally silent correct but in dias has given some accounting treatment means they have included some additional accounting treatment that is known as carve in this that is known as carve in there is only one carve in there is only one carve in balance all are carve out are you able to understand this might be important for mcqs correct na this might be important for mcqs so that is known as carving so certain changes have been made considering the economic environment of the country which is different as compared to the economic environment of developed countries which have been considered while making ifrs these differences are due to differences in application of accounting principle and practice and economic condition prevailing in india the difference which are in deviation to the accounting principle and practice stated in ifrs are commonly known as carve out further if there is no guidance under ifrs for any particular transaction event then the guidance provided under indias is known as carve in correct so this definition might be important for mcq type of questions got this point over differences also you wonder this will be discussed in respective indias in respective indias means one one uh, i'm sorry uh, this will be discussed in respective indias because abhi right now if i'll give you a carve out you will not be able to understand so what is the need of that carve out what was the requirement of that carve out okay so the next point is what to which company indias will be applicable to which company indias will be applicable and okay. can it become past tense now because this rules was introduced in 2016 so the company to which indias is applicable already applied half a new company will decide whether indias is applicable or as is applicable so whether question will be asked or will not be asked that we don't know correct but some question has been given in ics study mate that will follow correct understood and for that question we need to understand ki to which company when indias was applicable one thing is understood that the rule was introduced in 2015 so after that only indias will be applicable before that indias was not applicable so the entire discussion has been divided into actually three parts or i will say basically two part companies which are banking company insurance company and nbfc for them different rules companies which are banking company insurance company and nbfc why is different rules because for banking company insurance company there is specific act i think you have done financial statement of banking company also in your syllabus banking company was there na so have you done as per schedule 3 or as per banking regulation act have you remember that format correct nothing to worry that format is not in ca finance syllabus but that chapter has been also deleted where in ca inter new scheme thank you very much so what i am saying that already you know about banking company similarly for insurance company so banking company insurance company and nbfc different rules and other than banking company insurance company and nbfc other rules so first we will start for other companies other companies So for company other than bank and BFC and insurance company, initially it was in initially it was given as a voluntary basis for the year starting from first April 2015. So phase one was first April 2015 or thereafter. Any company can adopt in days on voluntary basis. Any company, any company can adopt. in days on voluntary basis but once adopted it cannot be reverse once you have adopted in days now you can't go to what accounting standard correct but you can adopt 
any entity can adopt on voluntary basis. First phase, it was on voluntary basis. Now, second phase started with mandatory. From 1st April 2016, it become mandatory for the following company. For the following company. So, from 1st April 2016, 1st April 2016, it become mandatory for the following companies. Understood this point? First, company listed or in the process of listing on a stock exchange, either India or outside India, having a net worth of 500 crore or more. So, having a net worth of 500 crore or more. So, this might be important for MCQs. And, unlisted company having a net worth of 500 crore or more. Means, can I say, in simply, any company having a net worth of 500 crore or more, point number 1 and point number 2 will be included. Why to give 2 point? We can make 1 point now. So, we can say, any company having a net worth of 500 crore or more, India's will be applicable from 1st April 2016. Now, what they said, point number C, ki, any parent company, do you know about parent company? Holding company. Holding company and parent company, are same because you know consolidation chapter, na? Parent company, holding company. So, any parent company, any subsidiary company, subsidiary also, you know. Any associate, do you know who are associate? Uh, where you have, where you have done? Associate? I think you might have done an AS18 or you might have done AS18 related party disclosure. You have done now. So, there that term was used associate. Joint venture, you know? Joint venture? I know what you know, you don't know. Okay. Detailed discussion will be done when I will come to that particular chapter. But, thora thora, you know, parent company, subsidiary company, associate, joint venture, this four terminology is very important. So, any parent company, any subsidiary company, any associate company, any joint venture company, of above, to them also India's will be applicable even though that does not meet the criteria of 500 crore or more net worth. Means even though their net worth is negative, then also India's will be applicable if they are parent company, subsidiary company, associate or joint venture of above company. Understood? Correct. This you have understood. Then phase 3 started from 1st April 2017. Means can is to some companies it become mandatory from 1st April 2017, which were not included in phase 2, which were not included in phase 2. I hope you are understanding. So, to which company? All companies which are listed or in the process of listing either in India or out in India, now India's will be applicable. Means can you see from phase 3 or from 1st April 2017, all listed company or the company which are in the process listing will come under the purview of NDS. So now one thing is clear, all listed companies and all companies which are in the process listing, NDS will be applicable. Even though they have a turnover, uh, so even though they have a net worth of zero, correct. Of course, other than company, this, this I will explain afterwards which are not covered in phase 1, those which are not covered in phase 1, to them, to them, sorry, phase 2, to them, India's will be applicable from 1st April 2017. Then point number B, unlisted company having a net worth of 250 crore more, but of course less than 500 crore, because 500 crore, more than 500 crore already applicable. So, any company, any unlisted company, having a net worth of 250 crore more. Now, for them also, India's will be applicable from 1st April 2017. Got this point. Then, point number C will be common. If any company, India's is applicable to their parent company, to their subsidiary, to their joint venture, to their associate, India's will be also applicable from that date. Understood? This much. This much you understood. Correct. Any doubt? No doubt. Can you see, in this, my explanation is zero. This is the only, the content which you should know only. Explanation not required. But one thing is what explanation requires. So, what is that net worth? How to calculate that net worth? So, from that question may be asked. So, they will give one company, financial statement, you need to calculate net worth and find out whether India is applicable or not. This type of question can be asked. So, what is that net worth? So, that net worth is defined in Companies Act. 
So as per Companies Act, what is the meaning of net worth? Let us understand first. Then we'll go to what? Some other point, net worth. So as per the Companies Act, net worth means, because you have done Companies Act, do you know the meaning of net worth? Already you have done Companies Act, na? So you have done the meaning of net worth. Same meaning is given. So net worth means what? Paid up share capital. So when I say share capital, it will include equity share capital, it will also include preference share capital. Both now, so it will include both. Equity share capital plus preference share capital. Paid up share capital. Plus all the reserve created out of profit. All the reserve created out of profit. Can I say maximum reserves are created out of profit only? Can you give me some examples of reserve which are not created out of profit because both you know hmm? any reserve which is not created out of profit profit means pl account profit means profit earned so any reserve which is not created out of profit one is revaluation reserve one is re revaluation reserve and one is amalgamation chapter capital reserve you don't difference will be transferred to goodwill capital reserve goodwill capital reserve so that is also not created out of profit except that except that so revaluation and amalgamation understood so, but does not include reserve created out of revaluation of asset and amalgamation chapter amalgamation chapter may you have done capital reserve so this will not be added be careful this will not be added to so, revaluation reserve will not be added and capital reserve will not be added whether securities premium is also shown under the head reserve and surplus, whether it is created out of profit. Securities premium is also shown under the head reserve and surplus. Whether it is created out of profit. It is not created out of profit. My question is that whether securities premium is profit. Whether securities premium is a profit. Whether securities premium is a profit? No. Yes or no? No. Pakka. Then why it is shown under the head reserve and surplus? Because of? Because of? You are saying correct only. Because of? Because of? Whatever cash you receive, that you will transfer to what? Reserve and surplus. Loan received. Reserve and surplus. You are a CA finance student, huh? Before saying thing hundred times, huh? Thing hundred times. Whatever cash you receive, whether it will be transferred to reserve and surplus. You are not giving back. So, for example, nominal value of equity shares that is also not given back. Then, why it is in capital? Have you asked this type of question in CA Inter to your teacher? You have never asked. First thing you have never asked. Why you have never asked? Because that time, whatever your teacher used to say, that was correct. Am I right or not? Me, you used to have full faith on your teacher that whatever teacher is teaching, that is correct only. And you are not supposed to apply your own common sense. But in CA final, you need to change one thing. Whatever I am teaching, that might be not correct. You need to think and understand logically. So whatever you are writing, if you have not understood, don't proceed. Are you getting what I am saying? Whatever you are writing, if you have not understood, don't proceed. Suppose I am not giving you time in class to ask doubt because this is exam oriented batch. I already said I will fast. In regular batch, so I said, Aram, I have 300 hours, but here I don't have 300 hours now. Am I right or not? So I, it might happen I am not giving you time to ask doubt. So it is your duty to ask me that doubt after class. And if you have a live student, a Google Drive student, ask me in the concerned Telegram group. Don't proceed without understanding logic. Correct? This is the only difference 
कि वाई स्टूडेंट हुआ ऑलरेडी पास सी ए इंटर एग्जाम टेक मल्टीपल अटेम्प्ट इन वार्ड सी ए फाइनल अच्छा माई क्वेश्चन टू यू बिकॉज टूडे फर्स्ट डे ओनली फर्स्ट डे आई डिस्कस आउट ऑफ सिलेबस हाँ वन सेकेंड डे विल कम आई विल बी गियर फोर बिकॉज आई नीड टू कंप्लीट द सिलेबस वट इज माइंड माई क्वेश्चन टू यू ऑल एवरी वन लिसन वट एवर एग्जाम यू हेव पास रिसेंटली सी ए इन द एग्जाम वेदर इट वॉज इजी एग्जाम वेदर इट वॉज सिंपल एग्जाम वट यू थिंक I am asking something to you. You passed or you have not passed? Passed, na? Because in CA inter, CA final there is no direct entry, ha? Huh? In CA inter there is a direct entry, but in CA final you need to pass CA inter exam. Then only you can come, na? So my question to you all: See, if you have passed CA inter exam, what do you think? That exam was easy? It was not easy. It was not easy. Hundred percent not easy. I also say. It's not easy. It can be understood from result also. The out of hundred, I think twenty-five. In your exam, twenty-five percent can be the maximum percentage. Twenty-five percent means you are among twenty-five percent. And it was not an easy exam. And from my point of view, CA inter exam is more tougher than CA final exam. From my point of view, I always say, if you pass CA inter exam, means you can pass any exam. It is my perspective and i have an experience of teaching last 15 years i am in this field only if you are capable of passing ca inter exam you can crack any exam because it is not an easy exam because ca inter eight subject was there only accounting was the subject which we are knowing only accounting and that also you have understood when you came to the class that was also totally different the term the only the name you were knowing accounting But costing, tax, GST, FM, audit, law, law. It was never ending only. Never ending, na? So many acts were there. Then IT, SM, some I economics also there. In your in your exam there was economics also. Now that that is deleted. So eight subject and all new. And nine months, not entire one year also. You pass that exam. You have taken how many attempt? That is not at all important, na? You have taken one attempt, two attempt, three attempt, four attempt, five attempt. That is not at all important. You pass that exam. That is important. You pass that exam. It is not easy to pass. You ask those students who have never thought of writing that exam. Even though they pass CA foundation, you are among them. You pass that examination. So it means it is an achievement or not? The bold say yes. If you have achieved something, you should be happy, na? You should be happy or you should cry? You should be happy, na? Yes, it is an achievement. It is a hundred percent achievement. You pass that examination. If you ask Google Baba, you know Google Baba? What is the toughest exam in India? So after UPSC exam, C exam will come. After UP, you know UPSC exam. So after UPSC exam, second point will be C examination. Now that everyone accepted also, everyone accepted C examination is the toughest exam in India. UPSC is something different. And that exam, C entry exam, you pass. It means one thing is clear that you are not a average student. Am I right or not? What do you think? You are average student. You are an average student. You are not, na. My question to you are: You are average or extraordinary? Means you, you rate what? Average or extraordinary? Because no confidence only. You don't have confidence about yourself. So how ICA will come? ICA will have confidence on you. You need to have confidence, na. You pass that exam and say yes, say yes, sir. We are extraordinary. Bolo. You are average or extraordinary? Yes, this should be the yes. We have passed that exam. We have an ability to pass any exam. Yes, only the first day I was here. 
because I don't have time to motivate you in this next 150 hours. My question to you all that you are extraordinary. Right now you have said stick to that, but there is one difficulty. Extraordinary item has been deleted from India. Understood? So now we will say we are exceptional students. We are exceptional. So now extraordinary item is not used in India. The entire concept of extraordinary item whatever you have done in AS5. You remember AS5? In all my example I will try to link with what? Concept only. Understood? So now there is no terminology known as extraordinary item. So we are which student? Exceptional student. Correct? Being exceptional, being exceptional, can you see you should take, you should pass CA final exam easily now. But what is the fact that I am just informing you at the beginning? See, a student who is who has passed CA inter examination, which is not an easy examination, which is also one of the tough examination, why that student is taking multiple attempts in CA final? This question we need to understand. If you understood this fact, CA final is very easy. That you need to understand at the beginning only. You know, when we do CA, when I teach CA inter, so I know any student who is doing practice, practice, practice without understanding concept, they will also pass. Means as per CA inter syllabus has been drafted, I see also say the student must have only working knowledge. Working means what? Practice knowledge, practice, practice, practice and I think in account, I am not talking about any other subject in account, you have done a lot of practice, one, one similar question, then two, three, four, similar type of question you have practiced. Now even though you don't know the concept, but you know how to write down the answer and with that practice you pass. If that approach you will follow in CA final, you will die. Now practice not required. Practice, of course, practice required, but practice, practice, practice will not do without understanding what concept. I see also say now CA final student need to have over knowledge, expert knowledge. So their expectation is expertise. Now, if you only believe in working knowledge, how can you pass? Normally, what happens when you pass CA inter? You think that you have passed only with practice, and that you follow in CA final exam, you will take what? multiple items. If you change that, CA final is more easier than CA inter because now all subject you know. There is no new subject. You know accounts, you know audit, law is deleted, thank you very much. Correct now. Then you know as AFM, FM you know, can you see you know uh, DT, IDT, that time one subject, now two subject, you know, one is only new subject, there is a combination of all. Multidisciplinary. That is a combination of all five subjects. Very easy. Change the process of learning. Change the process of learning. Today, with this one example, I will just prove you that what you have done in CA inter, what you are supposed to do in CA final. If you change that, it is my commitment to you that you will pass in first day. Understood? Key. Just try to understand this point everyone what actually happened see you have done sole proprietorship you have done partnership firm you have done company but any amount received from owner what was general entry in part proprietorship any amount received from owner what was the general entry Are, amount received from owner what is the general entry i am asking something Bank account debit to capital means whatever you receive will be transferred to capital now. Capital is nothing but equity. We call it equity also. Yes or no? Correct. Second, what is the any amount received from partners will be transferred to which account? Bank account debit to what? Partners capital means capital only now. There were two partners, so we should add a partner capital uh, capital one, capital two, capital three, but that is capital account only. Two capital only. But when you came to companies, 
any amount received from shareholders is not transferred entirely to what capital and this means used to pass banjana entry bank account debit to share capital to what securities premium means suppose 100 is the face value and it was issued at 150 then 100 will go to what capital and 50 will be transferred to what securities premium why what happened yahan par premium amount is received from whom owner only na so what happened here premium and premium is now shown under the head reserve and surplus why reserve and surplus by it is not a profit for the company reserve and surplus means profit have you asked this question in ca inter have you have you have this doubt came to you any time this doubt also not came means you are not studying logically try to understand i am not demotivating you because i was also same like you but i changed in ca final i have changed myself in ca final and that i understood at the beginning only i need to change to survive in the market to survive in the market are you getting what i am saying are you able to understand but can this doubt should come or not ki what actually happened in company any amount received from the owner is always transferred capital and reserve and surplus profit this is not a profit then to will not do any business will only take money from whom owner and will sit idle profit this is not a profit only you have also said that so why it has been transferred to premium anyone one second are in the lag no 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 when i am saying nalaik don't feel bad ha huh? please that is my habit to say nalaik because you are ca finance student na sometimes you may feel bad theek hai na this way i have said if you are feeling bad feel bad <laughs> bolo everyone the one simple question you are not able to answer what will happen if same question you ask in interview Whether they will ask the second question, am I right or not? Just try to understand this fact. Sunna, listen carefully. Any student who passed CA final exam, whether he should select company or company should select CA, he should. You are saying, I am not saying, ha? Huh? He should select company. Company has not a right to reject that person. You pass CA examination. Why interview, Baba? You, I will take your interview. I will say I want to join you. Am I right or not? Otherwise, I will not join. I will do my practice. Yes or no? A person who pass CA examination, one of the toughest paper in India. Everyone is saying that. Even Google Baba is saying that. Even in the world, I will say. it is the toughest paper you compare any examination it is toughest paper except upsc paper and company need to select us we will select company we will decide about our remuneration who are you to decide our remuneration no one have a right to reject us yes or no no one have a right to reject us we should not give anyone right to reject us am i right or not am i right or not if i am wrong you say me i will stop teaching I have given also interview. That time I was not knowing this fact, huh? When I passed CA, no one has given this guidance to me. I was just, I was just like you only. But I understood within nine month of my service that this company is not made for me. I am capable of earning one crore. Why I will take ten lakh from you? Am I right or not? I understood in the nine month of my service, I just resigned it. I understood in the first nine month, I am capable of earning one crore. Why I should? Only enjoyed ten lakh from you. I understood. Ha, I struggled initially. Whoa, one crore. It will. It is not an easy task. But I achieved that goal. Understood what I am saying? Correct. It means if suppose somebody asks you this question, if you are not able to answer, then there is some limitations. So that you need to change in CA final. If you are not able to understand logic, don't go till you understand logic. You have a time. 
after class to ask me because this is exam oriented batch so it might happen i will say i will say after class okay yes what is growth baba i don't want to go to company zag because i don't have time right now simple one word answer this is due to company zag this is due to company zag and company zag has given bakwas point can we avoid company zag can we say no we will not follow company zag it means we are doing only because of company zag even though the accounting trade was wrong even though accounting trade was wrong because company zag says that any amount received over and above nominal value will be transferred to securities premium account we open that account if the company zag would have been silent we would have done one jana entry bank to capital because of company zag this jana entry has been done this jana entry has been done no other logic no other logic it means if company zag would have been silent then my jana entry would have been bank account debit to capital only and indias says this only indias has given this jana entry but there is one point that indias cannot override the requirement of law it means till there is any amendment in company zag will follow which entry this entry only but soon there will be one amendment soon that amendment will come i don't know when the amendment will come it may come within 5 years or after 5 years but one amendment will come when this account will be deleted from all life so in day says what is jana entry bank account debit to capital only but due to company zag we are for we are following this jana entry understood have you understood this is the one example i am just informing you at the beginning that till you understand logic don't proceed if you understand this particular fact see a final not only fr subject all subject will be very easy and if you go only from solution point to be sir what is the solution of this question only inform us then multiple item might come and there is nothing wrong in passing multiple item because i know many chartered accountant who have taken many attempts but earning crores but first item is first item first love is always first love yes or no correct na so think about first item target should be of first item only am i right or not correct yes sir now coming to this what is the meaning of net worth so i think you have understood securities premium will be also included even though not created out of profit because it is a part of capital because it is a part of capital so it is nothing but same it is nothing but same but we write down separately because of company zag and the meaning is given by company zag understood yes sir less any accumulated losses if you are adding reserve and surplus then deduct accumulated losses okay less deferred expenditure and miscellaneous expenditure not written off this is this point is now not relevant because now there is no concept of deferred expenditure what is the meaning of deferred expenditure you know the term deferred expenditure deferred revenue expenditure you might be knowing can you give me some example advertisement expenditure can we defer that can we defer that advertisement expenditure over how many year over the contract period my question to you all can we defer advertisement expenditure defer means will not transfer it to pl immediately it will be deferred and will shown in, as an asset in the balance sheet so can we write down advertisement expenditure in balance sheet my question to you all i am asking something can we defer advertisement expenditure yes or no live student you can also reply okay i am just watching your chat box also how many are saying no we can't defer everyone is saying yes we can defer means you don't know anything 
you pass CA inter without understanding the concept of AS26. You don't know AS26. AS26 is what? Intangible asset. Means what I want to say that you pass CA inter means you are a good student, exceptional student, but you pass without conceptual knowledge because that was not the requirement of CA inter exam. You pass without concept, na? Are you bolna re? In CA final, no, you can't pass. You can't pass. This you need to understand. AS twenty six says that it is. It will not admit. It will not be the definition of intangible asset. Therefore, charge it to PL immediately. It means there is now there is no concept of deferred revenue expenditure, but we are doing as per company act. They still say that yes, there can be a concept of what deferred revenue expenditure. So I will not go against company act. So what they want to say, any expenditure which is not transferred to PL, can you say it also represent loss? Any expenditure which has not been transferred to PL, it is also one type of accumulated loss. So that should be also deducted. That should be also deducted. But now there is no concept of deferred revenue expenditure detailed discussion in respective in there in respective in there chalega yes sir so i hope you have understood the meaning of net worth can you repeat with me net worth means what paid up ca capital plus any reserve and surplus created out of profit excluding revaluation reserve and capital reserve arising in amalgamation chapter correct add securities premium less accumulated losses Less miscellaneous expenditure, if any, given in the question. If any, given in the question, you have understood the meaning of net worth. Can we proceed? It means, can you see this entire rules is based on net worth? Now, one doubt will come: the net worth based on which financial statement? Separate financial statement or consolidated financial statement? I hope once I have used the word separate financial statement and consolidated financial statement, you have understood my emotion because you have done which chapter? Consolidated financial statement. When I say separate, only a parent company. When I say consolidated, it is parent plus subsidiary. It is based on which financial statement? Separate or consolidated? Well, every entity is a separate. Here, it is based on separate financial statement. For every company, you need to apply this rule separately. Not on group company, you need to apply individually. It is based on separate financial statement. Now, one more doubt will come, sir. This financial statement should be prepared based on AS or in days. AS or in days? No. I mean, right now, we are applying for the first time. How can we prepare balance sheet as per in days? Can we prepare? And if you can prepare, then you have applied. It means it is before application of what? In days. So it is based on financial statement which are prepared based on accounting standard notified under. Companies accounting standard rules, 2006. Understood. I hope you have understood this two point. Correct. So what they have given? Net worth should be calculated based on standalone financial statement preparing as per existing accounting standard. Existing means whatever you have done in C A enter. This from all these MCQ question can be framed. Understood? Yes, sir. So now can I see you have understood this entire rule? Now the question is a net worth of which financial year? Net worth of which financial year? This one doubt will come now. So suppose you are in 1-4-2016. Well, a previous three financial year. Previous three financial year. How many? So three will be what? But three means what? Which one? It will be 13-14, 14-15, and 15-16. Correct. So 13, 14, 14, 15, and 15, 16. In any one financial year, if it meet the net worth criteria, in days will be applicable. If in any one, not all. If in any one, any one financial year net worth criteria is satisfied, then in days will be applicable. For phase three, it is previous four year because starting from 13, 14. So 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, and 16, 17. Any one financial year, the criteria is satisfied, in days will be applicable. I hope you have understood. So you have understood companies which are not banking company, insurance company, and NBFC. Now let us come to banking company, insurance company, and NBFC. For banking company, banking regulation acts says that we are not prepared for the application of in days. And it has been deferred. Initially, it was applicable from 1 4 2018. 
then shifted to 142019 now it has been shifted for unlimited period so banking company is saying we are not prepared for india's right now so it is not applicable to banking companies correct so any scheduled commercial bank excluding rrb rrb means what regional rural bank so for that india's is not applicable so we are already discussing about scheduled commercial bank excluding rrb so what they are saying rbi with a press release dated in 5 april first it was initially applicable on which date 142018 then it was shifted to what 142019 then however later on rbi deferred the india's implementation till further notice to notification dated on 22nd march 2019 now we don't know when it will be applicable similarly for insurance company insurance regulation and development act we are not prepared we want time for the application of india so it is deferred for insurance company also so you can see it is deferred for insurance company so for banking company insurance company right now india is not applicable so what will be applicable as and their respective act their respective act okay. non banking financial company because that is not as per banking regulation act or ird act therefore it is applicable and it has been given in how many phase two phase similar to what whatever we have done so phase one from 1st april 2018 so starting from 1st april 2015 then 16 then 17 then came what 18 first april to the 18 then 19 game is over actually it was the intention to apply in days uh, uh, to all company from first uh, april 2019 this was the mere intention but banking company insurance company deferred it but uh, we will not apply because we are not prepared for that understood yes sir so for nbfc Whether listed or unlisted, having a net worth of five hundred crore more, first point you understood. If India is applicable to this company, then their parent company, subsidiary company, associate company, joint venture also India as will be applicable. You can see parent, subsidiary, joint venture, associate company or whatever also what India as will be applicable. Understood. One second, net worth will be based on previous three financial year, previous three financial year. Okay. This all thing I will give you. This book you receive. Whatever written, don't write. Concentrate. Whatever I write, that you write. Okay, now this will be given. Now today you have not received. Okay, now. Okay. After class you take the books. Okay. Understood. So don't write. Concentrate. Okay. Whatever I will write, that you write. Okay, now. So what I am saying, net worth shall be checked for the previous three financial year. So what will be previous three financial year? It is from one four two thousand nineteen. So you can find out three financially. It will start from fifteen sixteen, sixteen seventeen, and seventeen eighteen. Any one financial year, if it is applicable, India's will be applicable. Whether my speed is okay, I will increase my speed. Okay, correct. If suppose in class you are not able to follow my speed, raise your hand. Because in class I have a duty. You are right. Whenever you purchase any item from the market, who have a right? The customer. I should not say you are my customer. Because in this relationship, customer word is not correct. But can I say I am providing services and you are receiving services now? So you have a right and I have an obligation. Correct. So in any time you find that you are not able to follow my speed, raise your hand. I will decrease my speed till you understand my speed. Okay? Chalega? Yes, sir. Then. Yes, then next phase came from first April to the nineteen. Now balance company also it will be applicable for NBFC. Then what they have given any NBFC whose equity shares, uh, whose equity and other securities are listed either India or outside India stock exchange, which were not, which were not uh, in phase one. Correct? Understood this point? Means we can say and having a net worth of less than five hundred crore. Because more than 500 crore and 500 crore were already covered in phase one. Then NBFC that are unlisted having a net worth of 250 crore more, but less than what? 500 crore. Means one thing is clear that now, as per current date, all listed company apart from banking company, insurance company, India is applicable. Unlisted company having a net worth of 250 crore more, India is applicable apart from banking company, insurance company. We can say in this manner. 
and their parent company, their associate, their joint venture, and their subsidiary also in India will be applicable. So, parent, subsidiary, joint venture, associate also applicable. Net worth, one second here, as per previous four financial years, I hope you have understood. It may be important from MCQ's point of view. Done. Roadmap done. To whom, when it is applicable, we have understood. Now, one thing we have understood that if India is not applicable to any company, then what is applicable? AS will be applicable. Means this point we have understood that co company not covered by the road roadmap, whatever we discuss right now, shall continue to apply existing accounting standard notified where com companies accounting standard rules 2006. Correct? Yes, sir. Means can I say company whose securities are listed or in the process listing in SME? SME means what? small and medium enterprise stock exchange do you know any sme stock exchange you know two stock exchange what are two stock exchange bsc and nsc these are not sme but there are many small stock exchanges so for example ahmedabad stock exchange there there was some year before hyderabad stock exchange also but now that has been closed down so there may be many small stock exchange for example i am a I am a new company. Correct now. New company with a startup business. Can you see if I say I am a listed company, what picture I am creating in your mind? I am a big company or a small company? Big company, listed company by. So what I will do to become popular in the market, I will list my shares in SME stock exchange. Because listing fee there will be very low. But you don't know what is SME, the user don't know na. You will say listed, big company only. So to create a brand, we just list our shares in SME stock exchange. But we are a small company only, na. So to small companies, India's are not applicable. So one relaxation has been given that any companies which are listed where in SME stock exchange, for them India's will not be applicable. Ha! They can voluntarily adopt what India's. So they may voluntarily adopt India's. But once voluntarily adopted, follow India's forever means it is irrevocable. Irrevocable means it can't be changed. It can't be changed. Understood? Correct. Simple. With our entire discussion, one point we have understood that company law means any act will prevail over what? India's. Means India's is a part of what? Company rules also. But it will not override the requirement of act any act it will not override a requirement of any act so act will prevail and because of that reason that reason india say that all the consideration received from equity shareholders will be transferred to capital but we follow what companies act because there is still now no amendment under companies act and we used to create which account securities premium account understood this point yes sir but there is one exception to this rule when i say companies act So there is schedule 3 you all know about schedule 3 huh? and other act means other provision of this act other provision means all the sections all the rules all the schedule whatever is applicable now when you read schedule 3 means when i will do schedule 3 then i will say that schedule 3 can be modified as per the requirement of India's. It means can I say, if there is any di differences between India's and Schedule 3, we will follow what? India's. Means India's can override the requirement of Schedule 3, only Schedule 3, not any other schedule, not any other portion of the Act. Understood? It means Schedule 3 requirement can be modified as per India's. This point have you understood? Schedule 3 requirement can be modified as per the requirement. India's means that format can be modified. That format can be modified. 
other provision this will prevail over what indias this will prevail over indias one example i can say because you know buyback of shares buyback of shares you know you know why we create crr capital redemption reserve you have created crr capital redemption reserve why i'm asking why ha huh? given by company jack very good now one answer don't say anything <laughs> Your answer is correct, hundred percent. This is smart work, na? As per company jack, sir. But if somebody asks you why company jack says that, I know you know the answer because that is a very important point in that chapter, CRR. I think you know. So can you answer anyone? Ki why we created CRR as per company jack? You know we need to create, but you don't know why to create, na? You know we need to create, but why to create? Means you pass without knowing the logic behind that concept. This should change. This should be changed in the final. I am just warning you in the first class. From tomorrow, I will not give any warning. Got this point? This should be changed. If you are doing something, so try to understand why we are doing that. If you understand that, you will never forget that point. So CRR is created for compliance of Companies Act. to make capital intact capital intact means what ki before buyback if the capital was hundred crore so after buyback also capital should be capital means including reserve and surplus should be hundred crore to protect the interest of debenture holders and other liabilities is the answer i have given logic you find theek okay? hai prevail so this will to carry crr is created i am just giving one example is created as per companies act even if indias is silent even if indias is silent so in ca inter even though as was silent we used to create crr so act will prevail over the requirement of as and indias understood so you can't say indias is silent will not create crr You can't say that. Got this point? Yes, sir. So this also your but law will prevail over AS and Indias. However, AS or Indias will prevail over the requirement of Schedule Three of Companies Act 2013. Okay. Now there are four points which we need to understand. First point. This you can write down. Case one. This can be important from MCQ's point of view also. If suppose there is one Indian. parent company they can be foreign subsidiary we call it foreign operation we call it what foreign operation i think in as 11 you have done integral foreign operation non integral foreign operation remember foreign operation forgotten chalo theek hai Indian parent company do you understand? Foreign subsidiary company also you understand? Now Indian company, suppose India's is applicable. Let us assume India's is applicable. Now the question is that whether to this foreign subsidiary India's will be applicable? Now, what is the meaning of foreign company? Which are incorporated outside India? Whether company that is applicable? Huh? Huh? Company that is applicable or not applicable? I don't know. You say I am not a company law teacher, correct? Now, to some extent, it is applicable, not for all the point. If I say CSR, but there are many points which might be applicable. That is given in Company Act only. But can I say they are not supposed to fulfill the requirement of Company Act for financial reporting purpose? for financial report because i am teaching financial reporting so i am not going to other point of company law for financial reporting companies act is not applicable means they will prepare financial statement as per their authorized means as per ifrs we can say 
so guys they are pre let us assume they are preparing as per ifrs let us assume Correct. now the question is that this financial statement and this financial statement can we consolidate no we can't consolidate because that is as per different standards the upon clarification has been given that even the foreign subsidiary will prepare their financial statement as per different standard for reporting purpose but for consolidation purpose they need to provide information so they need, they need to provide information to which company to indian parent company based on what based on india's for which purpose for consolidation purpose means this is not for reporting purpose this is which purpose consolidation purpose means we can say of course they need to also prepare their financial statement based on india but for consolidation purpose not for reporting purpose and the so reporting they are doing as per ifrs etc got this point so when clarification was given the otherwise so consolidation was not possible only got this point yes sir this is all practical point which might which might came at, come across when you are doing audit chalega done yes sir what they have given it is a relief that an overseas subsidiary or associate or joint venture we will discuss what is associate what is joint venture in detail in our future classes of an indian company is not required to prepare they stand alone financial statement as per india however this entity will still have to report their india's adjusted number for the indian parent company to prepare consolidated india's account understood correct second point case number 1 you understood come to case number 2 suppose there is one parent company to which india's is applicable now they have a subsidiary which can be banking company or insurance company or it can be nbfc also but now let us assume today to to nbfc india is applicable so i am not writing nbfc but banking company insurance company nbfc is not uh, india is not applicable it means for them as and their respective act is applicable means they are preparing financial statement based on indias and they are preparing their financial statement based on as correct now understood now whether it can be consolidated whether it can be consolidated acha one more point one more point before that ki this to 14 2016 is applicable now what is given in the para whatever we have done the road map ki any parent company any subsidiary company any associate any joint venture of this company india will be applicable so one doubt will come whether this banking company insurance company as will be applicable ki india will be applicable as will be applicable this answer already i have given correct already i have given because i have written as but can is the point is that their applicability is different so even though that may be subsidiary company associate company joint venture company or parent company of this company india as will not be applicable because their time frame is totally different understood so already when i have done the road map so we have done that this all points are applicable to a company which are not banking company insurance company or nbfc understood now one thing you have understood as is applicable india as is not applicable now can we consolidate no so once again this company will provide what information one clarification this clarification has been given information based on what based on indias for which purpose for consolidation purpose under so this point means indirectly indias is applicable indirectly indias is applicable 
हाँ बट फॉर रिपोर्टिंग पर्पज या रिपोर्टिंग बेस्ड ऑन वाट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड दे आर टू पॉइंट फॉर रिपोर्टिंग पर्पज ए एस फॉर कॉन्सोलिडेशन पर्पज दे नीड टू प्रोवाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन बेस्ड ऑन वाट इन दे एस करेक्ट ना केस नंबर थ्री दे इज वन पेरेंट कंपनी विच कैन बी बैंकिंग कंपनी और इंश्योरेंस कंपनी एंड दे है सब्सिडियरी कंपनी विच मीट ऑल द विच मीट द नेटवर्क क्राइटेरिया एंड इंडियस माइंड बी एप्लीकेबल इंडियस माइंड बी एप्लीकेबल ना टू दे पेरेंट कंपनी वेदर इंडियस विल बी एप्लीकेबल एस विल बी एप्लीकेबल AS will be applicable because their time frame is different. Understood. It means they are preparing their own financial statement based on AS and in AS. Now the question is that this banking company, parent company, will prepare consolidated financial statement based on AS or in AS? AS. It means they will provide what information based on what? They will provide information based on. in days for which purpose for consolidation ha huh? subsidiary company subsidiary company will provide information based on as oh ho my mistake because i was thinking about someone aisa hota when you will not concentrate what will happen so i can also do mistake when i am not Concentrate. Even right now, I was thinking about my wife. Correct, na? Because what happened today? She has fever. So I was thinking whether my child has went to the school or not. So, what happened, na? Human nature. So concentration is required or not? So you also require concentration. That three hours exam day is more important. In that day, if you are not concentrating, even though you are prepared for rank, you will not be able to write. That three hour is what benchmark day, understood? And we are preparing for that three hours when we write. चलो ठीक है. Information based on AS uh, for which purpose? Consolidation purpose. Understood? Uh, motive तो ये बंद है सुना? Got this point. Any doubt, sir? NBFC phase two point on then five hundred crore, right? I have written what? Phase two is two fifty crore more, but less than what five hundred crore? What is given? Phase two, it is net worth. Unlisted company having a net worth of. 250 crore more, but less than. Okay, now it is correct only. And this is also correct, having a net worth less than 500 crore, because any come NBFC which was having net worth of 500 crore or more than 500 crore that was covered where in phase one only. Chalega? Understood? Yes, sir. Now, so with this entire. points of introduction chapter is over we'll do some question given in ic study matter but chapter number 2 is over now when new scheme was introduced for the first time they have given some question in this chapter mean the old scheme there was no question in this chapter it means now they will 100% ask question from this chapter and that will be in the form of mcqs only that will be in the form of mcqs there are four five question given we can do it right now only but have you understood or not this one last point let me explain that also we suppose there is one company x limited and it was listed in let us assume london stock exchange and bombay stock exchange let us assume now as per the sebi as per the Indian Stock Exchange requirement. They need report based on accounting standard or in the accounting standard. Okay, but I am just referring before India. Suppose before India, they are preparing financial statement based on AS, but because they are listed in London Stock Exchange, so they need to follow the 
listing requirement of that country also so suppose they are also preparing based on ifrs understood now what happened from 14 2016 or 17 or 18 or 19 whatever in ds is applicable so now they need to prepare financial statement based on india now what this x limited is saying because as and india there are lot of difference as and india there are lot of difference but ifrs and india there is only 5% difference so can we substitute this financial statement as per this means whether any financial statement which is prepared based on ifrs can be substituted as a financial statement based on india because only there is a 5% difference that we can eliminate can we do so to well, no here we are discussing as per indian context so this is not at all relevant you need to change this financial statement to this financial statement this will be explained once again in indias 101 just write down refer indias 101 indias 101 is first time adoption of indias that will be my last chapter first time adoption last chapter correct understood because that can be understood when we have understood entire indias understood this point so one point has been given for your clarification if you go through that the company cannot adopt ifrs as a substitution for indias got this point this case study already i have discussed you can read by your own already i have discussed this case study so this chapter is covered can we come to the questions yes sir why not or today i have forgot to give break you want break ha huh? you want break pakka i'll carry on you are a good student so let me complete this chapter today i will not start a new chapter don't worry you can see there are four question bank four volumes of question bank we are in chapter number 2 so you can see this will be the question bank in which only questions will be given only questions you will find correct let us start one by one each question question number 1 for following is a snapshot of audited balance sheet of company a as on 31st march 2014 Companies A's equity shares are listed in Bombay Stock Exchange since 2010. They have given very simple balance sheet. As per road map, which phase company A fall into? Correct. Will your answer change if the company A is an unlisted company? Is an unlisted company. Whenever question is silent, always assume this company. Other than banking company, insurance company, and NBFC, you can't assume by your own it is a banking company, insurance company. Not India is not applicable. Jinda Bas, you can't say like that. Okay. Now first, what can I say? We need to find out net worth. Net worth. So what do we net worth? Tell me. Whether equity share capital will be added, securities premium, general reserve, revaluation reserve, no profit and loss account, liability. fixed asset investment current asset miscellaneous expenditure minus this will be minus na net worth means what either you take asset approach or equity approach capital approach so we are following which approach capital approach we are not doing asset minus liability in that way also we can calculate but will not follow for net worth we will always follow what capital approach so same answer is given so how much it is coming 505 So it is more than 500 crore. It will be in which phase? Okay, one make one correction in this in the answer book. Otherwise, you will give wrong answer. This is what this was actually not a phase. Please correct it now. Once you receive the book, this is phase one and this is phase two. So now it will fall in which phase? Phase one or phase two? Phase one. it will fall in phase 1 your answer is very simple so what the answer is given ki it will fall under phase 1 
phase one understood will you answer change if the company is an unlisted company if the company is an unlisted company then also what phase one so even though it is what unlisted company your answer remains same this type of mcq question can be asked they will give four multiple choices so in order to just pick one and if they ask reason then to give reason also okay i mean right now we don't know what type of mcq question they will ask with reasoning they will ask or without reasoning they will ask that we don't know okay from my point of view they will ask reasoning from my point of view okay question number 2 let's say question number 1 the balance sheet the balance of profit and loss account is negative 375 crore so now what they are saying ki this pl account is negative 375 crore correct when indias should be applicable to company a will you answer change if the company a is an unlisted company so if negative become how much batao now what will be answer 160 plus 200 plus 150 minus uh, minus 375 and minus 80 what the answer is coming bolo you don't have calculator oh ho calculator is mandatory in my class because i don't carry calculator bolo how much it is coming one second i will do it is 160 Plus two hundred plus one fifty minus three seventy five and minus eighty. What the answer is coming? Fifty five. So fifty five means uh, whether India's will be applicable. India's will not be applicable. If it is unlisted company, then also India's will not be applicable. So what they have given? Correct. What was your answer? Fifty five. So would be fifty five crore. Or be fifty five crore. You need to show by calculation, ha? Huh? If it is a subjective question, ha? And therefore, hence it does not meet the criteria as mentioned in phase one listed company or net worth of five hundred crore more. However, as the company is a listed company, so let me see. Acha, if it is listed company, then it will be applicable in phase two. You have given answer about phase unlisted company, unlisted company. For listed company, can I say it will be covered under phase two? For unlisted company, can I say it will not be covered? It will not be covered. So if it is listed company, can I say it will be covered under phase two? Because all the listed company will come under the purview of India in phase two. But unlisted company, then it will not be applicable. It will not be applicable. Got this point? This type of question can be asked. One more question: The net worth of company B. an unlisted company now they have given unlisted company was 600 crore as on 31st march 2014 however due to losses incurred in financial year 1450 the net worth of company was 400 crore as on 31st march 2015 from when the company a shall apply india so we have said three previous financial year Three previous financial year, the for one for two thousand sixteen, we need to go to what thirteen uh, fourteen, fourteen fifteen, and fifteen sixteen. So fourteen fifteen can is sorry thirteen fourteen the criteria is satisfied, and therefore it will be covered in which phase? Phase one. It will be covered in phase one. What the answer is given? In the company B will be required to follow in there for accounting beginning from first April two thousand sixteen. Means under phase one understood? Have you understood? Yes, sir. One second. The net worth of company C, an unlisted company, was four hundred crore as on thirty first March two thousand fourteen. However, net worth of company was six hundred crore as on thirty first March two thousand fifteen. Now also applicable because one of the year meet the net worth criteria. So now also it is applicable. You can see it will be covered. Company C is covered by phase one of the road map. अंडरस्टूड चलेगा Company B unlisted, subsidiary of company A. Company C unlisted, subsidiary of company B. So group means what? All the subsidiary means. If I say this is what parent company, 
so it might have one subsidiary two subsidiary then this might have what s3 s4 so can you see all will come under this purview so this become a group company understood this point yes sir so in this question they have said company d is a parent of group a let me draw only so company d is a parent of a then company b is a subsidiary of company a okay so company b is a subsidiary of company a bola na company b is a subsidiary of company b then company c subsidiary of company b so company c is a subsidiary of company b okay sir they have given net worth company b what is the net worth 600 crore so 600 crore likh do 600 crore company c what is the net worth 150 crore 150 crore and company a they have given how much it is given 60 crore 60 crore whether india is applicable to company a b c this is the question so this is 60 crore so they have asked whether it is applicable to abc so b to applicable and their parent company also applicable their subsidiary company also applicable therefore it is applicable to ab and c ab and c understood this point so whatever they have asked that question is correct so company a and c are unlisted and do not exceed the net worth criteria however the net worth of company b exceed 500 crore hence it will be covered under phase 1 of road map as india is applicable to company b the parent of company b company a and subsidiary of company b that is company c would also get covered under india's irrespective of net worth criteria but one doubt will be there in this case whether it is applicable to d this is a parent na ultimate parent ultimate parent whether it will be applicable to d now if you see the rules what is the rules given check karenge means if you read the rules because we need to read the rules na if you read the rules to so if you find the sentence let us understand the sentence what they have given ki parent company subsidiary company associate and joint venture of above above means which meet the criteria which meet the criteria na am i right or not so one doubt will come because in this case this is the parent company of what b and this is the subsidiary company of what b so in this case no doubt in this case no doubt but a is a what a subsidiary of d and can i say a indias was not applicable because of net worth criteria now one doubt will come whether it is applicable to d or it is not applicable to d one doubt will come or not there is a mere intention if you see the intention it should be covered and even though not covered can you say even though not covered then also then it then to they need to prepare two financial statement based on as and indias so they will voluntarily adopt correct now so this has not been clarified till now but as per the practical exposure i will say yes it is applicable because it is an ultimate parent company of what d so that ultimate parent company this terminology has not been used the rules therefore doubt came so whether it is applicable to ultimate parent company one doubt came so therefore that question has not been asked you can see in this question also that point has not been asked so whether it is applicable to d or not suppose they ask you just write down as per the rule so it is applicable to a it is applicable to c to d because it is a ultimate parent company of b it should be applicable it should be applicable understood correct but i don't know whether that type of question will be asked or will not be asked one last question is there following is the structure of company d following is the structure of company d you can see company d company is the subsidiary of d company h is the subsidiary of d company f company g company i chalega all the company in the above structure are unlisted company and the net worth of company e net of worth of company e is 300 crore is 300 crore and net worth of all other companies below 250 crore to which 
द इन डेयर्स विल बी एप्लीकेबल बताओ वेद द कम्युनिटी इन डेयर्स विल बी एप्लीकेबल एज पर फेज टू फेज टू ना नाइट फेज टू वेद कम्युनिटी इंडिया विल बी एप्लीकेबल यस दे आर पेरेंट कंपनी कंपनी एफ यस कंपनी जी यस डाउट विल कम फॉर वाट डाउट विल कम बिकॉज द कम्युनिटी इंडिया इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल बिकॉज ऑफ नेटवर्थ क्राइटेरिया लेट सी वट द एंसर हैज बिन गिवन लेट सी वट द एंसर हैज बिन गिवन देखो हैज द अदर कंपनी ऑफ ग्रुप दैट इज कंपनी एच एंड कंपनी आई would not be covered under indias however as mentioned in itf g1 clarification has been given company h and i would require to prepare its financial statement under indias so as to facilitate company d for the preparation of consolidated financial statement and though statutorily company h and i may continue to prepare its financial statement under indias but it also have to converse to indias moreover this may also opt to voluntarily adopt indias and prepare a statutory account under indias too correct so as per rules so they have said it is not applicable but can i say if company d need to prepare financial statement based on indias so they need to provide information based on indias so ultimately they will adopt voluntarily they can adopt voluntarily but as per rules they say no it is not applicable so it means they have asked that question also it means they have asked that question also correct so as per rules what they are answering it is not applicable to company h and company i so this question become important because this is thoda sa doubtful question in which you may have a doubt understood all other questions you can read and you can do it theek hai na means some question you also do by room chalega so question number 7 question number 8 you do by room Correct. Now today this much only. So today was only introduction chapter. Means today you can see we have not started any India. Today I have just given the introduction of India, and I have just tried to inform you one point that how to learn India because it is a CA final, and as per ICA syllabus you need to have expertise knowledge to pass the examination. Sir, so when you say expertise knowledge. So, sir, in exam-oriented batch, how can we have expertise knowledge? Don't worry, I am with you. Don't worry, I am with you. I will not delete any concept. Ha! But I will teach you all the concept which is required from exam point of view. In that, I am not do, will do any deletion. Means any concept which is not required from exam point of view, that I may delete. That I may delete. Understood? For example, in regular batch, sometimes I give some extra exam. So that extra exam I will not give. Which is not required from exam point of view. That I will delete. But whatever concept is required from exam point of view, that will be thoroughly covered. That will be totally covered. Understood? Okay. Any question you have in your mind? Today I have not given a break. Break will be given. Don't worry. Any doubt in your mind? No doubt. Okay. Be on time. I will start at six thirty every day. You are coming. You are not coming. That is not important for me. Even one student is came. I will start at six thirty. Okay. So I will not wait for all the student. And if you are coming, come without asking me in the class. Understood? Correct. So because there are many live student who are listening me, and I need to complete the syllabus in time. So I will be very much punctual at six thirty. Normally I don't be late. Okay. So I'll come at six thirty. I'll start at six thirty only. Okay. Any other point which you have? Collect your books today only. Collect your all the books today only. Okay. Any more point? Okay. About test. Test at CA final. A test means uh, chapter wise test and mock test will be after completion of entire syllabus. That depends upon student. Normally I feel that. In CA final classes, I conduct test one, all will come. I'll conduct test two, fifty percent will come. Test three, no one will come. Normally it happens, and then this will demotivate us also, because when I am conducting test, you are not coming. It means no use of taking any test. So what I will do, if you want, then I can 
कंडक्ट टेस्ट ऑन संडे और आफ्टर क्लास ऑन विक डेज बट एवरी वन शुड बी एट वन पॉइंट ऑन डे तो ऑन संडे आई कैन टेक वेन देर बी नो क्लास यू कैन कम एंड राइट टेस्ट बट एवरी वन शुड बिकम करेक्ट ना I can create paper. I can give you, and of course we'll do some assessment also. Or I'll give you suggested answer. You can check it by road, and we can have a doubt clarification on that. That can be one. Or I, what I will do, because I know you have article C also. You have no time of preparation. You have other subject also. I know your all difficulties, but there should not be any excuse. Correct now. We should stop giving excuses. First thing. So, but I know what is your life cycle because I also went through the same phase. Okay. So, what I can do, I will upload the test paper in the Google Drive link. Whenever you are prepared for that chapter, you write down by your own in your home. That can be the second strategy. Google Drive student, uh, of course, that will be uploaded in Google Drive link. They will listen. They will write down as per their convenience. But to live student and to face to face student, you decide and you just make it call. Take a call. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for today. We'll meet tomorrow, same time. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Enjoy your remaining day. Bye bye.